Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Apple report for Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. Please click like and subscribe. It helps us out a great deal in being found on YouTube. And please share the content uh, with friends and colleagues. So backtracking just a little bit, this was a targeted zone of support uh, going back to uh, when we started the daily Apple report in late September. Uh, this area has been an objective since. We tested it last week, uh, 122.82 to 123.68, narrowing zone of long-term support. Able to contain selling not only through January, not only through the rest of the Q1, but even into later 23. Because above this area, the channel top that is presently in the lower 170s is considered, I'm going to say, a five to eight month objective, objective that may actually be realized inside of two to three months if we get something like this. Although I really doubt this move is coming. I think there's gonna be a lot of give and take on the way. And I think it's more like five to eight months actually. So this area, 122.82, 123.68, solid bottom picking territory. Last week, we happened to close above a steeply descending channel top that is today at 127.16 that offers decent support through the rest of the week. Now, holding above that low 120s that I showed you keeps the 140s in reach by the end of February or sooner. And that sooner seems to, seems to have availed itself following last Friday's settlement above the 127.16 channel top. We could reach this area inside of two to three weeks by the end of January, perhaps the 142.96 to 148.41 region, where we can get snagged uh, through February, possibly the balance of Q1, and then fall off from here again for a month or two. This is where I come with more like five to eight months as opposed to two to three months. So let's cover upside today. Take a look at the near-term chart. This is one that I showed last week. We've got 135 even, this former descending channel bottom, as a two-star resistance. We got to 133.41 yesterday. We pushed through this 132.75 minor point by just a bit. But you know, all these minor points are very tradable. I've always said that. We 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 choose them carefully. They're Fibonacci levels, old whole, old highs, old old lows, so forth and so on. And if we happen to push or open today above 130.90, which is the high of the low, then we can once again reapproach 135 even, this former channel bottom, able to contain buying through the rest of the week. And from here, we could fall back to the 127.16 formation within three to five days. If we were to close today above 135 even, we're just another, I don't know, week, three to five days by the end of next week at the latest from reaching the targeted 142.96 to 148.41 region, which is once again shown here on the daily chart. Hi, if you enjoy watching our daily Apple report, you'll love our daily Triple Q and Spy reports. They're presented in the same five to 10 minute video format. Our daily Spy and Triple Q analysis provides directional market signals that are correlated with highly specific price support and resistance levels. Whether your trading time horizon is short or longer term, we promise you a distinctive edge in your trading of the Spy and Triple Q. We offer a five day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. So go to wickedstocks.com right now and start receiving your daily spy and daily triple Q reports today. So getting back to the downside, if we were uh, to close today below 127.16, and let me cover the downside a little better. Opening below 130.90, by the way, will keep 127.16 in reach today, where we can bottom out through the rest of the week and once tested, 135 even in reach within three to five days and the 140s, 142.96 to 148.41 over the next two to three weeks. Now, closing below 127.16 does signal another test, probably tomorrow, of this 122.82 to 123.68 long-term support region where once again, we can bottom out into later year and above which there's really nowhere to go but up from here if you're looking at either the next month or two or the next five to eight months. Because over the next month or two, it's the 140s. And over the next five to eight months, it's the 170s. Now, it's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen today. I don't know what, what's going on with my speaking today. It's not going to happen today. We're not going to close below that area today. But if at the end of the week, 
We close below the low 120s. On the weekly chart, it comes in at 121.20 to 122.67. If on Friday we close below this area, we uh, remain very heavy as we move not only into February trade, but even into the second quarter. Over the next uh, couple, two, three months, I would anticipate 102.73. And that may be it as we move into later year. But I will say this, and as I've said before, if we close below 121.20 on Friday, we could see a full unwinding over the next five to eight months or so into the low 70s. 73.65 is a full channel extension. I've used this targeting mechanism for a long time, and it works pretty well. So, uh, you know, I don't want to be a doomsdayer. It hasn't happened yet. I let the market tip its hand, let the market show you its card, so to speak. And if we close below the 120s, it has certainly done so and has told us longer-term bearish continuation is likely. Until then, it's telling us this is our floor of support. And from here, the 140 is likely by the end of February or sooner and the lower 170s as we move into Q2, Q3. And I think that that pretty much summarizes it for Tuesday's Daily Apple Report. I'll be back, of course, again tomorrow with Wednesdays. And you... Have a great day.